Thank you everybody for coming. My name is Les Rollick and I'm one of the chemistry instructors here at the college. And so I thought today for your day at the college, maybe we could just do a few fun experiments. So I hope yes. that's all right. Okay. Now, let me put on my glasses, kind of retro looking, but we want to have safety glasses. And this first one, sometimes things can get out of hand. It hasn't so far. This is just ordinary soap. But I'm just going to have you stand back a little bit so that your clothes don't end up looking like my coat right over here, right? So this is what happens. Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Now, this stuff here is just hydrogen peroxide. And so hydrogen peroxide, you know you can buy it at a drugstore and you put it on a cut or something like that. But I've got the really strong stuff. The stuff at a drugstore wouldn't do too much. So let me just mix this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this hydrogen peroxide decompose. And when it decomposes, it makes a bunch of oxygen gas very, very rapidly. And so watch what happens when I make that hydrogen peroxide decompose. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, no, stand back one more step, just in case. <laughs> I, I, it might not happen, might not be anything, but you never know, right? I don't want you guys to get all dirty. Here we go. Give it a shot. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. That is so cool. <laughs> is that hot? Okay. Yeah, that's steam coming off. It decomposes so quickly, there's actually some steam. I'd let you touch it, but you know what happens? It's quite hot, and it makes your skin all yellow. It's just soap, and it, you kind of get all dirty. You can see my hands are starting to get a little bit yellow, and I don't want that because it'll be lunchtime pretty soon, so that wouldn't be a good idea. But you see how it decomposes so quick that we ended up with a bunch of foam being generated like that. That's just the soap because we had gas coming through. Yes, sir? What if it was the other order? Oh, it would still work the same way. Okay, next, let's shuffle along, if you guys just can. We've got a couple experiments on the back side here. Yeah, you guys stand around the camera. We're trying not to block it. We want to see this. Let's just answer distilled water. Who here likes gummy bears? And what do gummy bears do when you eat them? They give you some energy, right? Yeah. Oh. What if gummy bears were What if gummy bears were going to take you to the moon because they have so much energy it'll be like a rocket. Do you believe that? Yeah. Yep, if I'm saying it. Well, thank you for trusting me. What I need to do is we need to get some stuff called potassium chlorate. This is what's going to be our oxidizer. I need to get this stuff heated up. So we're going to set this up and I need to melt the potassium chlorate. So that's going to take a couple of minutes to melt. And as we're waiting, I'm just going to move over. Now, I think the camera can catch this one here. Perfect. Here's another experiment. So if you guys on that side, just come around right into the middle right here. So we're going to take a look at two experiments. But that one takes a couple minutes to get ready. So I'm going to do another one since we don't have much time this morning. The other experiment I have is just ordinary sugar. Now, sugar is made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And so what we're going to do is with my sugar, I'm going to add some sulfuric acid. And sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, this stuff is nasty. If we were to get it on our skin, it would give us a burn. It basically is going to take away all the water out of your flesh and eat away your flesh. Well, I don't want to do that to myself or you guys, but instead we're going to do that to the sugar. We're going to take all the water out of sugar and watch what happens when we do that. So let me mix these guys. Okay, here's a little mixture. I just need to stir it up a bit. And watch what happens to the sugar. Because the sulfuric acid is taking away the water out of sugar. Sugar has carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So the hydrogen and oxygen are making water. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. It looks ah. like, it's like it's a purple. purple. It's a solid. That oh. is so cool. What did you just say it looks like? But you said it were charcoal. You know what? That's exactly what's left. The hydrogen and oxygen made water, and the carbon is left. That's the charcoal that you see exactly. It is the carbon. Okay, let's go back here. It looks like this guy is, hey, this is ready. 
Are you ready for our gummy bear rocket? Yes. No. These are just yucky old gummy bears. They're five years old. They're, they're hard. You wouldn't want to eat them anymore. But the thing is, gummy bears have sugar in them. Sugar is going to be our fuel, and the potassium chlorate is what we call an oxidizer. It is looking for some sort of a fuel. Watch what happens. Let's let the gummy bear take us to the moon. Here we go. Gummy bear rocket! <laughs> 